So Kings of Leon tonight, and you killed it again. Are you nervous that you're just never gonna not have a kick-ass performance? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm What's scared going on? Shitless. I don't know what the hell's going on, but um, yeah, it's just it was so much fun, man. You know, that's such a great song, and I love that song, and I just really had a blast singing it. You know, it was so much fun. You know. And Alex picked that for you. He was telling me you guys got to go backstage with Kings of Leon. What yeah. was that like? Uh, Kings Kings of Leon were staying at our hotel, and we actually got to uh, I got to just hang out and with uh, Caleb Followill, the Followill brothers, and Nathan, and um, they were super nice and gracious. And they were like, "Hey, come to our show at the LA Forum," and um, uh, it was just it was amazing. I mean, we got to see the concert. We got to go backstage. We got to, got to meet the drummer from Muse, uh, Dominique, and. Oh, wow. um, uh, so it was, a, it was just a ton of fun, and, and then uh, I had to talk to I had to personally talk to Caleb about saying, "Hey, can I sing this song?" And then they had to personally clear it because Kings of Leon has never cleared a song for any singing reality show ever. ever. Yeah, yeah, because they wouldn't even clear I think for Glee or anything. No. There was all that drama, so uh -huh. you're the first, first one. How's I that cracked feel? the code. Cracked. No, it was amazing. I mean, they were super nice. I mean, I just really was so humbled and and honored that they let me do that. You know, because I asked them, and uh, it was it was cool. It was amazing. And then you and Gina sang your duet, and you had Demi Lovato floored. So you're just flooring all these Hollywood heavyweights. What's that feel like? You know, it's amazing. I mean, it was just, again another huge honor to to get the reaction from her. You know, and that you know because we worked so hard to get a moment with that song because it's such a big song, and that we, you know, we just want to want to entertain and, and give great performance. I mean, that's the whole that's the whole thing about the entertainment industry is that you've got to work hard to kill those performances to make people feel something. Because if you just go up there and half-ass it or just lackluster, then you're not going to be remembered, you know? Well, you're definitely being remembered. Thank you, cool. We are going to play Would You Rather. Would you rather be invisible or able to read minds? Uh, invisible. Why? Because I can just go anywhere and just be invisible and people won't even know where I'm at. Where's the, where are you going to go? I can't tell you that because it's really creepy. Not child appropriate? No, not child appropriate, yeah. Okay, we'll... No, we'll you know what? That just makes me look really creepy. <laughs> I know, it really does. Uh, Somewhere fun. I just like to read people's minds. That's what I'll just say. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, would you rather have a permanent mustache or be permanently bald? Permanent mustache. You could rock the stash. Yeah, yeah. I tried. I, I got a really. Uh, my facial hair doesn't work. It doesn't. It's not cool at all. Maybe next week grow out a mustache. And maybe I have to draw one on. Vote so we can see that.